Welcome to another episode of the E Academy After Our Vacation. Today we will discuss the data, export, import functions in the DLODEX program and demonstrate how to use them in practice. We will show you one of the safe ways to store files with settings of the Integra and Versa control panels, as well as how to correctly open these files on any computer. This is a simple and at the same time effective method of archiving files with configuration of any alarm system based on the Integra and Versa control panels. What do we need for that? A PC computer with Windows operating system, USB RS converter for connecting to the computer. The DLODEX program that can be downloaded free of charge from our website. Any Integra control panel, which in our case will be the Integra 24 and the INT KSG keypad connected to it, as well as a previously prepared file with typical settings of the control panel. The file contains typically prepared parameters of zones and outputs, as well as user accounts. For information on how to do this, please follow the link under the video. OK, where do we start? First, let's connect the control panel with the computer using the USB RS converter. Enter the service code on the keypad and confirm using the asterisk button. Then select the downloading option and confirm start dwnl-rs using the hash button. Having done these steps, let's go to the computer. Start the dloadx program. Connection established between the control panel and the program is indicated by opening the Confirm window, in which the name of the alarm system saved to the disk is displayed. Click Yes to open the dataset of the system previously saved to the program. The next program window informs you about the connection to the selected system and the control panel version. Click OK to confirm the choice. Progress bars are displayed on the program menu bar, including reading settings, reading events, and writing. At the same time, information on the control panel you are connected to, as well as the name of your settings file, is displayed on the title bar of the program. From now on, you can make any modifications to the control panel setting by using the DLODEX program. We will only show how to export the settings to file. For this purpose, go to the menu, File, Export Import, and select the item, Export File. Next, confirm the file name suggested by the program, or enter your own name and confirm it using the Save button. In order to secure the settings files, the DLODEX program makes you, by default, enter the file encryption key in the form of a string 4 to 40 characters long composed of letters and digits. If you skip entering the key, the export file will not be secured. So it will be possible to import it on any computer without having to enter the encryption key. After entering the key, the exported and encrypted file will be available at the location indicated by you. We would like to draw your attention to some important issues. The files created during the traditional saving of the DLODEX program receive the .dcx extension. The .xcx file extension is given automatically and only to the exported files. The files with .dcx extension, which will be copied by using the system commands copy, insert to other locations, will be secured with the key created by us. Reading and importing these files without entering the encryption key will be impossible. OK, you already know how to export the file, so let's present how to import the settings from the file prepared in this way. In the File tab, select Export Import and Import File. Indicate in the open window the location of the previously exported file with the .xcx extension. Select the required file and press the Open button to confirm your choice. A window opens in which you can enter the encryption key. And then another window where you can change the name of your file or use the name suggested by the program. The file automatically receives the .dcx extension. Thus, we have finished the presentation of exporting and importing the data files. 
The functions discussed in today's video allow you to reduce the time necessary to carry out service operations connected, for example, with replacement of the control panel mainboard. For more detailed information on the topic discussed in today's episode, please follow the link under the video. And that's it for today. Thank you for your attention. We invite you to watch the next installments of the Academy. See you next time.